Welcome to Strickland Farm. Strickland Farms. What's up, everybody? I am Bailey's Hank. So today, God, I gotta slow my butt down. I'm by myself today. I um, got very. You know, I got both tractors moving over to, to the uh, Edwards place, which is the first field I cut last Friday. <clears throat> today is Wednesday. I finished cutting all of my hay. No more fields left to cut. Now it's time to bail them all. So, of course, this hay is super dry because it's been cut for so long, but it's all right. I wanted to get everything cut before frost, and it got pretty frosty last night. I, it was 33. There was a little bit of frost on the windshield this morning. Not bad, but I was, I'm was i okay because I got everything built. Oh, great. Got a full bell. Back to what I said. It's bell number one at Edwards Place. It's not gonna be, you know, a bumper crop, but hey, it's the last cutting. Last cutting was really good over here, so. Everything helps, every bill counts. So, I have spent, there's pecan trees. You'll see, I did a time lapse of raking since I was by myself, and I'm not using the 6110 because it's hooked to the 15 foot bat wing uh, to work on dad's contract. So I'm using the 5403, the loader tractor without a cab, so. I couldn't I can't film with that thing other than a time lapse so you'll see in the time lapse there's pecan trees everywhere out here they're kind of in a row but kind of not in a row and so it's it's challenging I bet you I have got out of the tractor got off the loader tractor and got out of this tractor 30 times and picked up limbs those pecan trees are notorious for dropping limbs so, but I'll keep y'all posted on how it goes. Like I said, I got one bell so far. This is uh, about, I don't know, an acre when you take all the pecan trees out because with these big tractors, I can't get right up against the pecan trees cutting and I don't even try to go in between them. Uh, it's just too much work. And risk hitting limbs and stuff like that. So when I'm raking and when I'm cutting, I stay away from them limbs. That way I don't get my tractor in it belling. So that bell looks pretty good. So, I thought it was going to look like crap first bell, but it's all right. So there's, like I said, there's an acre. I might be a little more than an acre on this side around these pecan trees. Dang, there's another one. And then the other side's about five acres is what they told me. I don't know if I'm that big yet, but. So, it'd be pretty good. You know, we get... I don't know, 20 bells would be doing awesome, but I'll be happy with 10. So stay tuned.
All right, everybody. I have finished at the Edward place. Moved over to the Mercer field, about four acres. About four acres. So, um, just right two rounds around the outside. And uh, hop in here and see how the moisture is. So, they're building a big old barn dominium here. It's pretty cool. So, check out all that. Still bailing. It takes a lot longer when you're raking and then stopping and bailing, but I've got most of the field raked, everything but that bottom terrace down right there. So, but I'm afraid I'm losing daylight fast that the moisture's gonna pick up. So I'm gonna stop, stop raking and hop the baler and see how long I can bail. I can get everything raked, that, everything bailed that I raked. So I'm in a hurry. All right, everybody, I'm still bailing. Just got done raking. As you can tell, it's got dark. So I'm gonna turn the lights on. Bellers up to speed. Headers down, here we go. I have finished raking everything though. So hopefully the moisture will hold out for us and we can finish this. Should be a couple more bells. Uh, focus, moisture's running 11. I don't know if it'll focus on that, but moisture's running 12% right now. So, as long as it holds down below about 17, 18, I'll keep on going. I'll bring y'all back out when I get done. All right, moisture's still doing good. It's at 14% right now. We're going 8.1 miles an hour, trying to finish. And it's actually doing a good job. So, this is gonna be full right now. So we'll stop. We lack one, about four more wind rows and I'll be done. So, moisture's at 14% right now. Last pass. This is not gonna be a full bell, but it's gonna be close. I'm at 50 inches right now. So, it'll be a 51 incher. <laughs> be a little short of a full bell, but that's all right. Few rounds, pick up some of this loose stuff laying around that I missed earlier. All right, I'm gonna call it quits at 50 inches. Fifteen percent moisture. Not bad for, what is it, 7 o'clock at night, 6.50. All right, it's done wrapping, let's kick it out. Right. I'm gonna call that quits. Raise my header up. We'll just leave the tractor sitting right here. Appreciate y'all sticking with me. Y'all have a good night. Me and Dad and William are laying out of work and school tomorrow. I'm going to go to the Sunbelt Expo in Moultrie, Georgia. So I'll take some video while I'm over there. See y'all. Thanks, sir. All right, William. Welcome to the Sunbelt Agriculture Expo. Where's the map? Oh, you gotta find it in there. That's what I'm looking for. TYM. Oh, I can take Steph. Yay. 
Oh, Daddy, look. I made Flopper sit in this. In the buddy seat? Oh, uh -huh, that's the tiniest chair ever. <laughs> This is his favorite booth. Right, right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. <laughs> I didn't have the duck eating. Yeah. What's oh, Sandra? JCB fast track. Unless it's warm in here. It's a pretty nice cab. Yeah, it's a big old screen. Let me get up there with you. You're getting the, I'll get in the buddies. Oh man, that's a long way up. That yeah. Thing. Buddy seat sitting way down there. Oh wow, I like this buddy seat. It has a back spot and I'm sitting by the road. I'm sitting shore low. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Because it's connected to me. And, yeah, and one does your bike. Okay, I don't want to play. No, you're all right. It don't matter. I right, quit tearing stuff up. Thank you.